What's up, YouTube? We back again. Another reaction. Airplay Beats. Lon Chi. And today we got Rush Zanadu. That's Exit stage like. left in 1981. So this has been highly requested. So now we get to see what they look like live. Okay. Exit stage, le stage left is the name of the show. I believe so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, this will solve, answer all our questions about the one dude who yeah. played the bass. And, yeah. Um, is he playing the bass and the keys at the same time or however he's doing it? Yeah. So here we go. people i was just thinking it's, it's a lot of sounds coming from three people sounds coming from everywhere is that a keyboard what is that it's a guitar the double neck guitar and then the other guys on the keyboard no no i'm talking about the sound it's everything
So that was a keyboard that we heard, yeah. song yeah it's it's it, the title is only one song but it sounds I, I heard, mean it, i've heard about 10 different time changes they yeah. said they're the kings of the time changes oh okay yeah because yeah, they the, do a lot of that the, for i don't you know it's it's live so the first part could have just been instrumental they're setting us up for the for the woo wham yes yeah, um, the studio version just like that please let us know and uh what does xanadu mean too and i'm just uh, mesmerized that listening to them live 
uh, just for for three people to sound that heavy, it sounds like it's about six, seven people on yes. on stage. That's a heavy sound for three people. And he's jumping back and forth from the keys to the to the double neck bass, and then the other guy's got the rhythm guitar with the le- with the twelve the, string on top. Twelve of string it. with the, and then he's playing the lead on the bottom. And so what's on the bass? I said I saw the bass. The top of the bass had four strings. I didn't see what was on the bottom. Let yeah. us know what's at the bottom there. But um, they sound like a full chorus band. Like is it? Yeah, the drummer has the or Orchestra drums back there. Yeah, he has a whole bunch of whole bunch of drums back there. <laughs> he's <laughs> he good, good too. though. Yeah, he's he sounds real good. He's really good. His hands is quick. Man. He's touching them all. some point it sounded like it was kind of like indian or egyptian like someone like it I mean when they were hitting the xylophone yeah, when they were hitting the xylophone and then the, the keys he was playing on the on the it gave me a feel of like indian music kind of mm-hmm. i so. like the groove when he went to the xylophone and the keyboards at the same time that slow groove yeah that's yeah. the part i like but um, i mean it was about three four different grooves in this in this in this record maybe right about here. six or seven yeah yeah, yeah they, I, they're just they're Musicianship is excellent, though they're seamless. They, they've there. all mastered their their yeah. their, uh, their position. I love the big sound they got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a dope show. Make sure y'all keep sending over to Rush. Um, 
I want to hit a studio version of that to see if it's that if it's so much long. to yeah, it. Yeah, it's dragged out. It's and what does and, and Xana do? It sounded like it was they were kind of like he was lost in a cave somewhere, or I heard something lost about somewhere a cave or something. eating honeydew or something. But yeah, that's that's the, <laughs> that's the second song we've got from them. They're they're writing this is, is the third. No, I'm talking about the, as far as the, that. I'm the writing is they're oh, okay. Real heavy writers. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta, yeah. I don't know what what this one's about. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and we up out of here.